Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Crying Sons, and this is not part of my Steam cleaning series because this game is not done yet. This is a demo. It is work in progress. It was a Kickstarter. It's early access. All those things. I'm just checking it out because I wanted to. It it sounded cool. It said FTL and cool sci-fi stuff. So we're gonna figure it out together. Uh, I have not played before because it doesn't say continue game, but I did watch the intro cutscene before realizing I had to restart it to get the resolution right. So we're gonna go to uh, new game. Oh, geez. Okay, you're just starting me right in the middle there. Alright, do I have... Neon end fuel, scrap, commandos. Okay. Can I... Okay. Choose your off. Oh, hello. Okay. Vastly increase the deployable zone of your squadrons. Rika Mikhailov. I, I want a scientist. I have one officer tech, and I want Peggy. Start. Ellis, Idaho. So, this is where we begin. I have to say, so far, I don't see anything wrong. Caliban. Does look peaceful, for now, anyway. These are the sectors of the Outer Rim, Admiral. The further sectors in the capital that are, if, that there are. If there is ever a wasteland of the Empire, this would be it. Strange, I'm not picking up any other Omnis. You said it yourself. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yes, but even out here, I should be picking up dozens of them. After all, the Omnis are what kept the sectors of the Empire running smoothly, even relentlessly worthless sectors like these. Let's not try to overreact, machine. It's probably nothing. The Empire has run flawlessly for how many years now? 700. And it will do so for hundreds more. Now come on. Let's take a look around. Officers don't have anything to say. Alright, so there's an anomaly. There is five points of interest. It'll consume one Neo and fuel to reach. Alright, so that's a little bit of a... Oh, it's red. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, no, it's the Borg Cube. What do we have here, Lieutenant? It appears we've some kind of cube-like refinery, sir. Lieutenant Hawks. Caliban. It's a Neo and Hypercube. Omni tech for the sim simulation... Simultaneous harvesting and refining neutrinium from nearby suns. Hypercubes provide passing ships with Imperial clearance access to neon and fuel to their vessels. Interesting, if not downright bizarre, this cube isn't connected to the fold net. How could that be? And why aren't there hypercube omnis trying to reconnect as I speak? Ask Kiliban for explanations, your memory is still blurry. Certain things are still blurry to me, machine. What do you want to know, Admiral? What is Neo N? Oh, Neo N. Hundreds of years ago, pre-Omni times, the first advanced machine discovered the existence of the final element, neutronium, which exists usually, but not always, in suns. Neutronium is extremely volatile in its natural state, but these... Neutrinium. This advanced machine stabilized and improved upon and provided the most powerful and longest lasting energy source yet, neo-neutronium, or neo-n. Neo-n, in turn, allows the first machines to create an even more advanced machine the Omni, hence the acronym, you know, Omni-Mechanical neo -man omni mechanical you can't put um, you can't put the first word in the acronym Neo and Intelligence, but I thought you told me Oberon invented the Omnis. I did. You're absolutely right, but technically it's not entirely true. Oberon invented the first advanced machines, which in turn, thanks in part to the creation of Neo and invented the Omnis. Anyway, Neo and is a refined state, is a perfect energy source, stable and almost boundless in energy yield. As a result, it's used just about all Omni invented tech, which basically means all tech, as humans stopped inventing tech hundreds of years ago. Lastly, what's important about Neo N is that our very own battleship, the NS Odyssey, uses it. Without it, we can't go anywhere. What do you want to know, Admiral? Fold net. Tell me about the fold net. As you probably recall by now, Admiral, the Omnis have invented and managed Imperial tech more or less since the dawn of Empire. Fold net, arguably our greatest achievement, forms the backbone of the Empire. Think of it as a global galactic network allowing instant data and or matter transmission. Matter transmission. There's numerous interconnected folders and beacons. And with constant vigilance maintenance of the fold net omnis, none of the possible humanity would live in fragmented chaotic darkness. Needless to say, it's important. What do you want to know? 
Oh, I learned about the folders. Folders? Hmm, let me see if I can explain this to you in a way that you could possibly understand. It's going to be hard, but I'll give it a try. Uh, old Omni try. In early days, the Empire, at the speed of 100,000 times out of light, the interstice offered the fastest space travel available. It was fast, don't get me wrong, but traveling from cluster to cluster, sector to sector, could still take decades. To assist the Empire administration, just be and just because you know we could, the Omnis invented a means to travel from two points of space instantaneously, the folders. Yes, each folder, several kilometers across, is linked to pair with another folder throughout a process of, yeah, this is going to be really hard to explain, but non-quantum computer energy, you just fold space, come on, man. Look, all you need to know is that these paired folders collapse or fold space, see, there you go, for a brief amount of time and join two points of space previously unjoined. Without the folders, Omron could never have grown to his empire, nor kept together for 700 years that he has. Each folder is run by an Omni. These Omnis are cleverly known as Folder Omnis. Without them, the folders simply cannot work. Lastly, in order to reach Elysium, the Empire's capital, our journey, we have to use several folders. Why can't we just teleport to Elysium directly? Well, money, really. It's far too expensive to have more than one folder paired with the Elysium folder. What do you want to know? Uh... Beacons. A lot of preamble. Full net beacons, counter our journey, function repeater, sampling all full net data transitions, beacons allow Empire citizens even live out here in the rim. Alright. Well, probably everyone has the right to instantiate information in the material sector, but based on what I know about humanity, I'm not sure I totally agree with them on this point. What do you want to know? The interstice. It's truly incredible how much you don't know. The interstice is another omni direct omni invented tech. So why are robots in the future kind of snarky or sarcastic? Great inventions, one developed one folders with their interstellar tech. They create an empty space dimension between the ones you know. We have a tunnel where the universe light speed behaves. Let's say differently. Uh, reach 100 times speed of light. Speed allows your kind of colonizing your stars. However, interstellar space travel still has its limitations. For example, at this speed, it would take you 750 years to travel one in the Empire to the other. Yep. Intercluster, and this one cluster sectors. So what do you want to know? All right. Uh, send a small team to investigate the cube. Captain Lynch, form a small squadron and fly around the cube and let me know what you see. On it, sir. Whoop. Sir, the Omni was right. The cube isn't connected to the full net, and by the looks of it, it hasn't been connected in years. Just a guess here, but I'd say it looks like it's been disconnected for maybe 10, 15 years? 10, 15 years. At least, sir, could the Empire have, I don't know, disconnected on purpose? I don't think so, Admiral. I'm not a cube nominee myself, but the cubes are complex technology and constantly provision. Disconnecting would make, would make it all that all but impossible. And the Neo-N levels? Empty, sir. There's no Neo-N here whatsoever. Looks like whoever came before us took all of it. We won't be fueling here. Well, the reserves might be empty, but that could still there could still be some residual Neo-N coursing the cube. Hypercubes require Neo-N to function. I know I said I'm not technically a cube nominee, and I'm not, but it does appear I have some cube functionality in my Rubicon. Interesting. Point is, I should be able to unlock this final restraint so we can refuel. It won't be much, but it'll help with our efforts. Then do it. Unlocking the cube now. There. Oh. It's scavenged, but that's the last of it. Alright. Scavenge! That's it. Uh, scientist? Fighter? Oh. Do you help with the weapons? Yes. Oh, can I not... Can I not replace you? Oh, there you go. Deploy, okay. Okay, local system map. Okay, so I could send a beacon. You are here at the star. Sir, battleship, 12 o'clock. Kind of battleship, Lieutenant. Couldn't say, sir, I've never seen a ship like this in all my service. I guess we could always ask? Come here, transmission! An Imperial battleship made from Telos tech. My mouth is watering. This is Admiral Idaho. Really? Idaho? With the Imperial fleet, stand down, Captain, this Imperial sector you find yourself in. Imperial sector? That's funny, Imp. Sir, I think they're... What, Lieutenant? Preparing to attack. The battle is imminent. Good luck, Admiral.
First fight, Admiral, and us Odyssey technology unlike anything you've ever encountered. Everything is here is a tactical projection connected to the real time to your mind. Ooh, Nerocon. Tactical projection by simply up the uh, Play squadron, click on the docks, you control on the battlefield. Play weapon, click on the docks. Officers spend their skills using bolster squadron weapons or battleship hull systems. Officers are crucial in pairing and any critical effects. Their officers can lose health points during a battle. If they reach zero, they become passive for the rest of the fight. After the fight, they'll return, but in a weekend state until they heal them, we can stay. Yeah, okay. Neurocom can also accelerate your thoughts to the point where it appears totally still. Tactical pause. Oh, there you have it. Okay. Uh No, I don't want to recall. That's still charging. Oh. All right, we got 37 scrap. What was that thing, Lieutenant Uzo says? Ozu? I don't know, Lieutenant, I don't know. Ooh, upgrades. Battles are stronger. Oh. Quadrant docks. Current level can fail. Cannot fail. Cannot. F not fail. All right. Well, I'll take that. So I don't do anything else here? All right, local system map. Oh, hello. Imperial outpost, sir. It seems abandoned. Any heat signatures? Not a single one. Seems empty, all human life. What about an omnipresence? They should be here managing the station, no? They should, and no, I'm not detecting it. This is getting stranger and stranger. Ask about the outpost. What can you tell me about this outpost? Seems to be just a run mill Imperial outpost, Admiral. These outposts are in all Imperial sectors. Uh-huh. Huh. Should I military might? What do you want to do? Try to make contact. Do you make contact with someone, human or not, inside? Of course, Admiral. Nope. They're not answering. What do you want to do about this outpost? Memory's still blurry. Couldn't you activate the Omnis by yourself? No, only Omni owners can do that besides Omni just sleep mode has been shut down. I don't know. Okay. Send the team of commandos! You got it, sir. Alright, so this is the other gameplay mode. Oh, do I not play it? Sir, I was empty. Seems it was abandoned years ago. If I had to guess, probably around the time Hypercube back there was disconnected from Fulton. Do you spare Omni parts here? Servo motors, anti ground generators, bio centers, that's it. Looks like someone came here, took the most valuable Omni parts, Neo encapsulators, positron trips, and left the rest behind. Scavenging Omni parts, who does this thing? Okay. Capital offense. The one on the Prog Man execute for. One on the Prog Ma execute for. Someone who doesn't fear the Empire, that's who. My commandos have found something. Now I'm the attack from top to bottom. Is it functional? That's a negative, sir. It was lower level. Guess whoever was here didn't go down that far. Might have needed higher clearance to get in. You want to spring it so we can take... Yeah. Examine from here. Sure thing, Omni. Done. 
Asking the main, accessing the mainframe, and strange. Perfectly intact, plenty of Neo N. The pilot's ship seems to be in place. It should be up and running, and I don't get it. Any idea when to shut down? Starting a ship 20 years ago. Roughly the time of the hypercube was unlike, unlinked from the fold net. What do you want to do about this outpost, Admiral? Anything in here? Positron on internet. Uh, Rubicon dictates Omni functionality. Gehenna, different function, other Omnis. Okay, fold Omnis. Quantum computer capability, lots of laws to be smarter than you. Okay. All right. Let's try quota. Lots of lore here. Potential harmony in your house and whether your mind receives a certain number of chips every 10 years. House Telos, of course. Oberon's house, our house. Fewest. Verrelli, pitiful quota. Varys and really hate to be in Richelli Omni. Uh, the Rubicon. Set of rules. Omni don't harm humans. What do they disobeyed? Quite rare. No. Nope. Help terminate. Omni assist you suicide. Uh, Neo N, is that the fuel still? All right. And you on. Well, I don't want to be further worried, sir, but our battleship her heuristics are detecting an anomaly at our next exploration. Seems something life-threatening exists in the system with us. Hope it's not another one of those things again. Come on, crew. Whatever it is, or do you check it out? All right. So this is definitely the demo. Where they are locking me where I can go. Anomaly seems the risky expansion of counter offering very positive, very negative outcomes. All right. You won't know until you get there. One of those creatures again, sir. Maybe this one will be friendly? Probably not. Incoming transmission. Nice ship you got there. I'm going to enjoy scrapping over your dead bodies. Well, that's not very nice. Well, I guess not. Right. It's such a long time to Oh, we got a frigate Mark One. Kaboom! Uh, though we had another, yet another brush with death. At least our scanner started to the nominee this time. Well, all the nominees want to destroy us, machine. Will all? Uh, no. At least I don't think so. Nominees are destined to higher than normal probability, being negative, very positive. I don't know what kind of. Okay, so basically, you read me what that thing said. Come around here and tell us what's going on. Wait, what? Oh, that was what it was. We didn't get any more scrap. Two weapons die. Oh, military base. There would be here to be a small colony on this planet, Admiral. We finally get some answers. Ground signal, thousand kilometers from the colony could be worth investigating. Incoming transmission. Hello, it's Bowie. Is anyone out there? This is Admiral Ellis Idaho of the Imperial Fleet. Thank you, Oberon. For a second, I thought you might be a scrapper. I am Tygen Bowie, leader of my small colony. What can I do for you, Admiral? If scrap you're looking for, I'm sorry, but we have none to spare. Scrap, we're here to find out what's going on in these sectors. I don't understand. Yet to encounter a signal active Omni and two enemy battleships have engaged us. Some sort of sick joke, Admiral? Sick joke, I swear to you, in the name of Oberon, it's not. The Omni, shut down. Impossible, the Bowie's a madman. The Omni shut down in our sector, and when they did, so did all the tech. Can't run without them. 
How? When? I have no, no idea how it happened. I'm not sure even Oberon does. It's our truly great mystery of our time. As for when? 20 years ago. 20 years ago, almost to the day. The Omni shut down in the outer rim without warning. We relied on them for everything. Food, medicine, weather. It's hard to give accurate numbers, but maybe 75% of the population here died in the first five years alone. Now, who knows how many of us are left? 10% less? It's terrible to say, but the truth is sometimes, sometimes I'm jealous of the dead. But why? Because they no longer have to live. Learn more about scrap. You mentioned something called scrap. Tell me more about this. Well, now that the enemies have been inactive for so long, Imperial Soul, Firmer Chromo Currency no longer has any value. The only thing that does is scrap. Prime Minister Omnitech, its metals, ship materials, and Neo-N, our energy source. As Omnitech becomes, as it, and as Omnitech becomes scarcer and scarcer, which is over the last 20 years, its value is appreciated, causing people to act incredibly desperate to get, and violent to get it. So why scrappers want to destroy your ship so much as so they can collect its broken down parts and sell them, just so they can prolong their miserable lives. It's not just the scrappers and pirates who desire this stuff, it's most of us common folk aren't willing to kill for, at least not yet. Something else? How can you help their planet and the people of these sectors? What can the NS Odyssey do to help? Being the Scrappers would be a nice start. Things would look a lot better if the scum was out of the way. Scrappers? Don't tell me you don't know about them either. It's like been living an entire time on an unhabited planet at the edge of the Outer Rim. Scrappers are a group of hideous cancerous scavengers who collect leftover Omnitech and Neon. They shut down. Those took over the chaos. Rotten apples around here. Pirates. Crazy civilian. They fought the Imperials, how did they hold on? The scrapper battleship wore down, picked up... True, but the Scrapper's battleship wore them down. Picked off one here, another there, it was a war of attrition. Plus, the Empire couldn't send reinforcements, not with our folder down, you see. I just say it, but I think it's just a matter of time before they make slaves of us all. But even if they do beat them, even if you beat Mother... Oh. 10, 15 years with all the hardships we're experiencing will be gone, all of us, unless... Unless what? You somehow to reactivate the Omnis and turn them back on again. The ones who haven't been scavenged for their parts, that is. That's the only way to save us. Something else you wanted to know? How we can turn the Omnis back on? You're asking the wrong guy. I'm afraid, as I said, no one knows or what, who or what shut them down. You'll have to solve the mystery on your own. you have to play the game. Find a way to turn them back on, which might be another thing altogether. But where should we start? I hate to say it, but Mother is probably your best bet. I mean, she benefited the most from these shutting down in this cluster, didn't she? Then again, there are a lot of theories out there about who or what is responsible for this. Something else? Who is Mother? I don't want to know as the leader. It's very upsetting. From what I gather, she was one of the start of the Scraptors, fostering a punk, a nihilistic, scavenging philosophy among their ranks. Who makes up her ranks? Imperial prisoners. Once they shut down, the prisoners escaped. Loves her tech. Halo's tech. Oils. And she and the boils who work for her will kill you for it and enjoy doing it. Been terrorizing these sectors for years now. All right. Oh. You don't want to know what those are. Oh, they're sex slaves. Cool. Baby makers are what you use to make babies. Make babies. Scrappers often die from their neo and tumors, as they should. Thank Auburn for that. Keep the scrappers. So it's kind of like uh, Mad Max in a sense. Gross. Did she shut down the Omnis? Couldn't say. Don't ask her. Uh-huh. More about the Scrappers who work for Mother and Charlie Sectors. One of the Mother's cronies. You recognize the Mother Freakish Mutations. Alright. 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 One more, come on. Theories you have here about the shutdown. You like to gossip, omnivirus theory, doesn't want water. Same time, make our lives easier. Who would do that? Incredible theories. Mass suicide theory that they just gave up because they all hate humans. They'd rather do that than, they'd rather do that than serve, all right? Alien shutdown theory, which means another galaxy did it. Alright. Should never have become so dependent on those things in the first place. That's what I think. Something else? Nope. Thanks, Bowie. Take care of those scrappers. Get the arms working. To take this Neo N. We have plenty of it at the moment. You'll have healing you'll need it. Like I said, I know it's not the bravest thing to do, but it's best if you hide that you'll live along that way. Three Neo N. 
Believe you said, unfortunately, yes. Explains everything we've seen so far. All right. What do we do now, sir? First thing we need to do is find this mother. As Bowie said, if she didn't shut down Omni's down, chances are she know who or what did. Still can't believe it. 75% of the population in these sectors have died, and those seven are suffering terribly. And they'll continue to suffer unless we do something about it. Star map below, choose the next system. I got the ground signal. Oh, secret military base. Wap. Scanning. Select an officer to leave. We'll lose between 0 and 10 commanders. Alright. Good idea where it is. We need a team of commandos to find it. A lot of visual, but space ground communication with minimal. We can't risk human location on battleship or exposing potential threats. Only conscious when it's secure and all of a sudden. Okay. Any resource should be extracted. Now get going. Thank you, sir. Thank you, child. Okay, danger avoided. Okay, so this is kind of auto running. Oh, neat. Aww. What a lot of scrap. I think he's doing pretty good overall. Um, line of secure, Emily. You've seen our bow readouts. What do you think we should do? Continue the mission? I think we should continue. We haven't taken too much of a, of a hit. Aww. Can I just keep going? All right, so that's the end. Continue. Do I only get one shot at it then? 86 scrap seems pretty good. Quadrants, quadrant dock. Two jumps away. More commandos. All integrity. Oh, that must be okay. So that's where that goes. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, as many number jumps before news of your presence reaches local rulers. Once they hear about you, they'll come looking for you and blockade access to the system. Okay. So, so, there's a shipyard, a beacon, three anomalies, two anomalies, trading beacon. All right, why don't we just go here? All the damage you fight if you want it. Incoming message. Don't even think about it. My hull might be damaged, but I have Imperial slaves try anything and each and every one of them dies. I think I'm kidding. See for yourself. 
He means it, Admiral. Try anything and we'll all die. And a try mission, sure. Uh, attempt covert mission to rescue the slaves. Find and free those, of course, sir. Total ambush. The scrapper ship disappeared from radar. There must be some interference from that sun. No! Planetary events is turret wreckage. Shipyard. Scrapper! Humor filled eyes. Battle's imminent. Good luck, Captain. damage there oh they actually have a AI there they have a fire okay we're good Battleship. All right. Shipyard. All right. Visit shop. Don't need repair. That's 175. All shops are. Massive damage versus. A lot of stuff. I don't want to go to that. Don't want to get rid of that. You're a boring shop. I want to see a good anomaly. Scrapper patrol. Good luck to you. Uh, not met condition. Uh, try to intimidate. Death by Neo and Cancer will feel like a deep tissue massage compared to what my ship can do to you. Leave before it's too late. Okay, we're going. Oh, but we got nothing. Oh. Alright, we can do a... Do a scan. There's an artifact. No major threats. Okay, so I'm not good at... Oh, okay, so those are the skills. You'll lose between 7 and 10 commandos. I don't want to do that. How do I level you up? Yeah, I kind of wanted to fight that ship. Like, I should have gotten something for it. Well, that's good. Wow.
They said I would survive. Continue. I want that rare thing. We're doing fine. 